Okay, so this is the field of feelings. So feeling the feelings, um, it can also be used with the observer, but it's a, it's a, it's a technique on its, by itself. <clears throat> so the idea behind field of feelings, uh, you could say it, it's allowing or non-resistance of what is. Uh, that could be another way of saying it. Allowing or non-resistance of the isness of what is. So, but the way I like to do it is become aware, usually for most people it's like the body. What's being experienced? Is there any sensations in the body, any feelings, any emotions, any, any, sen any senses in the body? And if there is, you, one just allows it. Uh, now, one of the things with human consciousness is that when one is identified with thoughts, to be identified with thoughts is to resist the now. To be identified in thinking is to not allow the experience of any energies or vibrations that could be allowed to be experienced. Another thing to recognize with consciousness uh, or with the ego is it likes repressing stuff. It likes suppressing and repressing stuff. So for the purpose of the field of feelings exercise, what one is doing is one is like fully allowing everything to come up without resistance. Things which the ego or the thinking might be trying to push down so that you never get to feel. In this exercise, you are allowing. So, if, if, for example, there might be a tightness in the stomach or there might be tension in the shoulders, which you, you might not have even been feeling. But if there is anything, just fully allow it. Just fully welcome it and, and allow, what I would say is that allow the repressed energies, the repressed vibrations, Everything to be, everything to come up and to be experienced. Now, if there's any sensations, vibrations, awareness, feelings that are present, just fully allow and let them allow them to be experienced. And the thing with feel the feelings is you don't want to label or identify with the story or thinking while you're allowing uh, whatever is being experienced to be experienced, or whatever is being felt to be felt, or allowing any energies to be uh, experienced and then allow them to dissolve uh, through non-resistance. Now the thing to recognize, so is, let's say there's a feeling or an energy or vibration that's experienced, you're allowing it fully in awareness and then suddenly a thought may arise in consciousness like, oh I, I forgot to do that, but as soon as a thought arises, detach from that thought and back with the sensation or the energies in the body or wherever they are or whatever there it is. And then so, and then suddenly you're, you're with any sensations and suddenly another thought pops in mind. Oh, but you didn't not detach from that thought immediately as it rises in consciousness. You just be back with the energies and the feelings. So what's happening is you're just only allowing any energies or sensations or vibrations to be experienced, fully experienced, you're, and you're taking off any mental breaks, any resistance that might be happening and fully allowing it. And if any if a thought emerges in consciousness, just detach and be back with the sensation feeling. Recognize if there's anything that is like an unconscious monitor or supervisor that is trying to tell you how good or bad you're doing or if you're doing it right or wrong, let that go. It's not required. Just drop it and just allow the energies to be experienced. And as you allow the energies to be experienced, they'll dissipate. It's like when you allow something, you're not trying to hide from it or resist it or go into a story about it. First it might be stronger and then it'll start to evaporate and disappear because when you allow something without resistance it eventually loses its energy and then it evaporates into nothing. Now layers of other energies may come up after you release one layer but that's okay, allow those things to come up and just allow those to, to be released as well. Also as you're allowing these energies you realize there is no you that is allowing it because if you don't identify with thoughts then there's no person or there's no identity or ego that's feeling the feelings. Just feelings are being felt in, you know, in the infinite universe, but there's no you who's feeling it, because the you is the thinker. So if you don't attach to thoughts, then there's no you. So it's an effortless, intuitive process of just releasing, if you like, all the hot air, all the repressed energies there. So just, we're going to have like uh, f about five or ten minutes of just allowing everything to come up and just let it, everything dissolve, the next le layer come up. And if you get to a place of infinite silence, then just rest in that because everything has been released, all tensions, all sensations, all emotions, 
or all mental states have dissolved away in, into the nothingness. So we'll do that now for about five to ten minutes in silence. 